welcome back to our channel guys we are the curious kiwis today we are in manukau city in auckland south of auckland and we are going to do our first ever adventure lab geocache this is going to be like a mix of figuring it out and actually doing it yeah five stops on this adventure lab it's like a multi-cache yeah and we're going to walk around find them all people be like oh but there's a beautiful tree behind you new zealand is so pretty we found the prettiest spot Ta -ta. parking lot yay yeah. we're going to go get married to geocaching yeah Let's go. Okay, this is where we are. We're in Manukau, and this is the adventure lab we're gonna do. Come on, come on. Oh. Married to geocaching. These are all the stops here. So yeah, let's start. Let's go. I'm Lidi. What's that, Lidi? This, this gross. Why do we always find like, ooh. Let's smell them again. Ba 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 ba. We are crossing the road. Watch out for the cars, lady. There's so many cars here. And damn it. <laughs> okay, after this one here. Oh, yep, go. No, it can't be mine. Ah, oh, sake. Now hurry up. Hey, look, we bought cheaper chips. But you do buy a Mitsubishi for that money, though. We're 110 meters away. 110? 110. 92. 92. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Woo! We're famous lady. We're so famous. I only meet this woman. We're right on it. Zero. Oh, zero. To get married to geocaching, plan the wedding and need... What? This doesn't make sense. There was a typo. To plan the wedding, you need to find something old. You're going to something that has been here for a long time mm -hmm. and can serve as your something old. Start at the given coordinate. Walk 40 paces approximately southeast along the sidewalk to arrive at your something old. There is a lot of power around here, which is a good sign that you are on your way to finding the first thing you need for the wedding. You know where south is, right? That's where we just came from. Yeah, indeed. Let's go. Smart cookie. What is it, lady? So it said you don't need your smartphone or GPS to find the coordinates for this, and I just found them. Yeah, but we're not going to show them, are we? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. So with the GPSs, to put the answers in, you have to answer this question. What is the total of the very last two digits of the latitude added to the very last two digits of the longitude? We're going to put the answer in and head off to the next one. Yes, come, Didi. Ta-da! Okay. Completed the first waypoint. Woohoo! On to the next one. It's a little bit windy, but um, 1,000 meters to go. What's Rainbow's End, lady? Rainbow's End is New Zealand's premier theme park. No, it's the only theme park. Yeah, and I used to work there. It's uh, it's like a playground. Don't waste your money. No. Uh, how much is it to go in there? 25 bucks? No, 50 it was like bucks? 50 odd bucks, 60 odd bucks. Don't do it. Oh no, that's rude. Do it once and then don't do it again. Yeah, we'll show you their amazing roller coaster. It hurts your back though. It does. You want to go to a chiropractor? Nah, -uh, go to Rainbow's End. Request the free Total Turtle Power Trackable. I already did that. That is the definition of Rainbow's End. How many meters, lady? 622. Ah, and we walked over a mile already. Motorway. We are on our way to the turtle, eh? It's where my lady... Got my degree in business administration. <laughs> Shall we cross here, lady? Yeah. <laughs> well, we are at the... Whoa. Ooh. This here smells. We are at the turtle. Look at all the nice graffiti, lady. It's art. Very artistic. Dumbass. It's so nice. It's so pretty. And this is why we like to geocache outside the city. Clean, mm. green New Zealand. Yeah, clean, green, very clean. Green-ish. Ah, man. That's horrible, people. Shame on you. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> the description of the second one. You're on your way to becoming married. You have many people who will want to celebrate with you. Yeah. Some will be coming from a long distance and will need some place to stay. This adventure lab will take you to your something new where your out of town guests can stay. You have to answer the question, what is the name on the side of the building? And it's six letters. And it's this building behind us, so we're not showing you what it is. No. But we're going to put it in and then head all the way back. Ta-ta! We have completed something new. Meanwhile, a manicow. Oh, is that artistic? Oh, it's something different than a bison tube in a tree, isn't it? Look, that's nice graffiti, lady. Ta-da! Yay! 
Yay! Watch them. Completed the third one. So we came to the library. We got the answer to the question we need. We needed to count a certain amount of tiles running from north to south. I got the answer. Now we're on to something borrowed. Ah, uh, no. Oh, something new. No, something blue. We're on to something, something blue. blue. Ta da! Number four complete. On to number five. Go, lady, go. Go, lady, go. Okay, we're at the last one. This is a place where you can find rings. Maybe these are not the kind you want to put on your fingers, but they are rings nevertheless. Crispy ring. ring. You are now married to geocaching. Remember that you need to work on this marriage. Each and every day, you need to pay attention to geocaching and do a few little things that are appreciated. Yeah. You can log onto the webpage, find a cache, solve a puzzle, or many more things. A little time invested will give you a lot in return. Never go to bed angry at geocaching. DNFs happen to everyone, even in the best of families. Yeah. Don't try to place blame. It might be geocaching's fault or it might be your own fault. Forgive and forget and try to remember the love you had when you married geocaching. All right, let's answer the question. Yes, lady. What's the question? What is the word on the top line of the warning sign? And it's nine letters. Well, we're not going to show that, but we are going to have a look. Yeah. 20 minutes later. The man is pissed. We are both pissed. Yes. We've been here for... 20 minutes, maybe 20 25 minutes. minutes. We were looking for... The letter on the top line of a warning sign that was nine letters long. There's all like warning signs and warning signs and there's like heaps of these warning signs and there's a warning sign there with a green sign on top of it. If you're looking it's for it, it's more to do with the donut shop than you would think. Yeah, literally and it's walking. tiny. We were literally walking away because we were like hot and tired and we've got other stuff to do today. <laughs> he said, oh, just try this. Tried it and it Bingo. Worked. So yeah, that is the Adventure Lab complete. Now you can go onto the app and rate it. So yeah. That here. was our... Um, that was our first ever Adventure Lab. How was it, lady? It was okay. The area you walk through was not the nicest. Well, especially that. Yeah, I mean we had fun doing this adventure lab apart from the frustration with the last question We love the idea of adventure labs from this experience. Yeah, but being Manukau City Okay, so we've been to Manukau a bajillion times. We used to live basically in Manukau City It just wasn't fun for us because we knew the whole area. Nothing was new. Nothing's like exciting There's no fun like historic spots in Manukau to go and visit, you know Like, But we loved the idea of the cache and the theme of it was fantastic like the married to geocaching That was a great theme the story was all well thought out all the clues were like yeah, really was, great like that was perfect that it was, was perfectly really done really well thought of it must have taken a lot of time so thank you Agazo for Agazo. putting that out it's just the area for us wasn't that exciting no but yeah we hope you enjoyed watching this video we, we did. did if you did make sure to hit that big subscribe button Don't down we. below yeah. click the notification bell so you get notified when we upload <gasps> All right, easy. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of Adventure Lab caches. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Have you had any struggles with them? Make sure to go check out our previous Brisbane travel vlog geocaching videos. We'll put a link right there. Head over to our Instagram channel. Instagram channel. I'll put head a link over, right here. Head, <laughs> head over to our Instagram page and our Twitter. <laughs> put a link right here. If you want to follow us even more, we have lots of great adventures to come this year. Oh yeah. In the works, in the planning. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. <gasps> bye, bye bye. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. And that's just my feed. <laughs> no, that one's still got food in it. Don't you dare squash it. Don't. Oh, you sh. <laughs> oh, it's the other one. That one still has food in it. Give it to me. <laughs> you can. Oh, saved.